Hey, sub! Guess what? The day has come! What's that? You don't know what day I'm talking about. Well, the day that I promote Jerry in this intro, of course. Jerry is Sub's brand new Roblox game, featuring a giant scary ice cream man. Your goal is to collect all the different keys around the map and unlock the final elevator before getting caught. If you think you can take on the challenge, then check it out using the links in the description. Sub's been working super hard on Jerry and would love it if you could play. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, the day I was talking about sub was actually the day that we got the final update to Piggy. And of course, the Piggy story ended a long time ago with the chapter 12 update. But this is the true final update. And oh boy, it's a big one. It's got a whole new Piggy skin. But best of all, it gives you the ability to create your very own Piggy maps. And it's as cool as it sounds, sub. So so how about you show us seven things you didn't know about the Piggy Build Mode update? Number one, Mousy. Let's start with the small part of this update before tackling the huge build mode. And of course, I'm talking about the new skin that was added to the game, Mousy. One thing that certainly confused me and a lot of other members of the Piggy community is that Mousy now has legs. Now that seems pretty normal until you consider the fact that in the real show, she uses a wheelchair to get around. Plus, when we've seen her in the game previously in the vents on Mall, she's crawling around because she can't walk. But I suppose it would be unfair if a piggy skin was able to crawl. After all, they're only supposed to be cosmetic. While Mousy might not have any cool power-ups like crouching, she does have a cool weapon in the form of nunchucks. Well, kind of anyway. They're a little bit broken since she only has one half of them. But that's not important. You want to know why this weapon is really cool, Sub? Because we suggested it in our previous video. All about the new weapons that should be added to Piggy. Does that mean Minitune is a Subs Blocks World fan? Well, hello if you're out there, Minitune. Other than that, the mousy skin is relatively normal. Well, as normal as the Piggy skin can get anyway. She's got the iconic illuminated eye. And of course, the spherical head that no Piggy skin would be complete without. Number 2. Build Mode now that Mousy is out of the way, Sub, we can talk about what has really got everyone excited about this update. Build Mode! As you might have guessed, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Let's you build your very own Piggy Levels. How cool is that? But it's not just that, Sub. You can also join all of your friends' levels, too. That way, you can see what your friends have created and even have full-on games of Piggy with them on their very own maps. And it's not just that, Sub. You can play any game mode with any amount of people with as many keys, doors, decorations, obstacles, items, as you want. Literally, the only limit is your imagination. Hey, are you enjoying the video so far? Then make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're always making new content like this. And subscribing is the best way to make sure you never miss another Subs Blocks World video. Number three, building a map. Let's get into the nitty-gritty of it, shall we, Sub? I mean, that's what we're all here for, right? To build the greatest piggy map. Minitune has given us the tools, and now it's our job to use them. At first, the overlay might be a little overwhelming to use. It's certainly nothing like I've ever seen in a Roblox game before, Sub. But then again, I've never been able to make my own levels in a Roblox game before. Until now. The first tip that any new Roblox piggy builder needs to know is the best way to make use of your camera. Since your character is unable to fly around or free cam, we'll need to use the zoom mechanic to help us get a wider view of your mapping area. By zooming out, you're able to get a huge view of the mapping plane. That way you can do things like expand your floor, build platforms, and create walls. However, for closer, more precise things like decorations and doors, you'll need to be a little closer than that. Luckily for us, we're able to zoom right back in again and get a closer look. 
Next up, let's actually get some blocks on the ground, shall we, sub? For this, you'll need to look towards your hotbar, where you'll find a selection of blocks and shapes. If you hover your mouse over an area on the map, a transparent white outline of the selected shape will appear. Just click and boom! You've already started creating your own map! I know what you're thinking, sub. You can't make a piggy map just out of white shapes. And that's why you're not just given only a color picker, but a material picker too. If you're not sure in what the difference is, just think about it like this. The color picker is for blocks covered in, well, just color. While the material picker is a pre-made picture that's put on the side of the blocks to make it look like a real life object. But what do you do if you want more than just regular 3D blocks? Well, it's simple. Just click on the set button to open up a menu filled with a whole bunch of different types of things you can put on your map. Number four, finished map. Wow, sub! That's quite the map you've got here! Good job! Now all that's left to do is to save it! You get two level save slots for free! And you can unlock an extra two for just 100 Robux! By the way, if you're purchasing Robux, make sure to use the code SUB at checkout! It helps to support the channel! That way we can keep making videos just like this one! Now that you've saved your level, you can load it at any time you want, just by using the load button in the bottom left. The only thing that's left to do now is to try it out. Now, since Bacon Hair doesn't even know about this update yet, let's try it out with a bot before we show him. Your level works, Sub. Now quick, try to escape Piggy before she catches you. Now that you've completed your map, invite Bacon over to check it out. Since you're the one that created it, you'll know all the good spots and shortcuts. Hey, have you learned something new about the build mode from this video? If you have, make sure to leave a like on the video. Not only does it help to support the channel, but it also shows Sub what kind of content you want to see in the future. Number 5. Inspiration Now Sub, of course, if you're going to be the greatest piggy map maker, you're gonna need some good inspiration. We need to get those creative juices flowing. Luckily for all of our viewers, Sub, the Subs Blocks World channel is a great place to find inspiration. We've made a ton of different videos all about the community-made chapters and maps, game modes, characters, and even weapons. If you need a reminder, take a look back at some of our older videos. They're sure to give you some great ideas for piggy maps of your own. If you create your very own piggy map, make sure to drop your Roblox name below. That way, you can not only share your ideas with everyone else, but you can even take inspiration from others. Subs told me he wants to make a video all about the best user-created piggy maps. So if you drop your username in the comments below, you might just see your very own map in a future video. Number 6. Trolling now it wouldn't be a Subs Blocks World video without showing you the best ways to troll your friends. All by using this brand new mode. And Sub here has already found some great ways you can annoy your friends. The first trolling method I found Sub is a simple but effective one. Since when people join your game, they're not able to build. But you are. As soon as your friend joins your game, just trap them in a box. They'll be so confused. Next up, we've got another simple one. Just wait until your friend is standing completely still. And then remove the blocks right from under their feet. They'll fall right through the map and into the void. Next up, we've got another simple one. The final trolling method I've come up with is just dropping a piggy spawn event in the most unexpected of places. That way your friend will be trying to collect a key, only for piggy to spawn right in front of their face. How's that for a jump scare? I'll bet there's a ton of you with your very own trolling ideas out there. If you've got a great trolling idea of your own for the build mode, tell us all about it in the comments. Number 7. Mini Games now maybe you're not the building type, maybe you're just not the creative type, but that's okay, because this game mode isn't just good for building. 
With a little bit of imagination, you can play some awesome mini games in this new build mode. The first mini game I've come up with is a build battle. First off, you'll need to create a huge flat area. Now you need to come up with a category. You could think of one yourself, or you could use a random word generator online if you want to spice it up a bit. And now, set a timer for however long you want. You and a friend should each get to work on your own building for that word. And then once the timer runs out, check out each other's builds. Whoever's made the best build is the winner. And if building isn't your thing, another cool thing you could do is implement some custom game modes of your own. For example, you can place as many guns as you want, wherever you want. Or you could even try creating a maze for other players to run through and complete. Maybe you could even make use of the different colored keys and doors to make it just that little bit harder. Wow, Sub! I'm not sure about you. I've been blown away by how good some of these Roblox games are getting. Speaking of Roblox games, make sure to check out Jerry using the links in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time.